the JAMA Network. Isaiah Bell is 12. He loves football and taekwondo. I get to kick people in taekwondo. That, that's just awesome. Isaac Oka is 18. He's headed to college and wants to be an actor. There are just so many things about acting that just intrigues me. Just two of the thousands living with sickle cell disease in the United States. Pain is the major manifestation of people with sickle cell disease. The pain is unpredictable, it's recurrent, and it can be extremely severe. The pain is caused by sickle-shaped red blood cells that block the small vessels in the body. This causes an array of serious health problems. Many doctors are unfamiliar uh, with how to treat these events. Having those physicians knowledgeable about sickle cell disease and familiar with the guidelines that are being recommended here will allow them to give better care to these patients. Dr. George Buchanan from the University of Texas Southwestern Medical Center and a panel of experts spent five years reviewing more than 30 years of medical studies and trials on sickle cell disease. This special communication appears in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. There are improved treatments. Hydroxyurea is greatly effective in reducing pain and other complications and prolonging patients' lives. Unfortunately, most people aren't taking that medicine yet, and that's a big problem. Isaac is taking this FDA-approved medication, which decreases the rigidity and inflexibility of his red blood cells. It is also preventing episodes like this. My eyes got swollen shut, and I couldn't see at all. For almost five years now, we have not had any pain crisis because he stayed on that medication. Blood transfusions are an extremely important treatment for people with sickle cell disease, either given acutely as a single time or on a monthly basis long term. The blood transfusions just kind of helped um, him stay on top of his game. It's not really too big of a problem for me. Other recommendations include treating severe pain with intravenous opioids and using daily penicillin to prevent infection in children up to age five who have the disease. Isaiah Isaac and their families continue to participate in research and remain hopeful. Who knows, maybe they'll come across a breakthrough and find the, the cure for sickle cell. I mean, you never know. You just got to keep open for it. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.